Hey guys, it's Lisa. So today I'm at Disneyland and it is October 1st and do you know what that means? Well, okay, if you guess Halloween, you are wrong because it means Christmas somehow because Christmas merch has started to trickle in at Disneyland, which is bizarre, but I guess I'm here for it. I think, but we're gonna go inspect and investigate and see what Christmas merch has arrived and just take a look at all of the new merch around Disneyland. So yes, come along with me, let's hang out and let's go look at some merch. Look at what a nice day it is. Oh my gosh, it's one of the first few days that actually feels, well, it doesn't feel like sweltering heat, you know, which is nice. Although it still doesn't feel like fall and it's October 1st, where's our fall weather? I mean, I guess I can't complain, but anyway, okay. First stop, World of Disney. They always have all the classic Mickey merch right here in the front. And look, we have a Mickey ear hat. And look at that, don't you love that light projection? I think that's really fun. But okay, I was looking at what's new and they have these plain old sweatpants and you know, plain things and sweatpants are both totally my jam. They're a nice navy blue. Oh, they're very soft. Oh, I would be so into these. They're super comfy and they have a little cream colored drawstring. Or no, it's plain white, not that it matters. <laughs> but these are $49.99. The only thing is that they do not have pockets. What? I kind of hate that. Okay, so I love these, but I also am really sad that they don't have pockets. I found new ears, and I always love finding new ears, especially ones that are neutral colors or ones that would go with so many outfits, and these totally fit the bill because I love wearing black. And I like that the bow is at this angle. It's very jaunty almost <laughs> and then i like the polka dots and yes they're very plain which i absolutely adore and who doesn't love how puffy this bow is but anyway yes these are 30 dollars. and here at world of disney there's a new shirt here for 25 dollars, and it features aladdin and jasmine it's a really nice moss green and the fabric definitely feels like a little bit worn in which is really nice it feels like it would be very comfy and then the graphic right here it says soren spirit in a nice script font and we have agrabah and some birds in green and then it kind of looks like Jasmine is wearing a different outfit than she normally wears, right? I'm not sure, but either way, this is very fun, very cute. For $37, there's a new Baymax shirt, and how cute is this? I love Baymax, and look at how pleasantly plump he looks and how happy and excited. We love him, but it's a nice thin shirt. Oh, I love the way it feels, and it's a tomato red right here, and then there's contrasting stitching. This is so cute, which, by the way, you guys, who is excited for San Francisco to come to DCA? Because I really want to meet Baymax, so I am very excited about that. <laughs> I don't feel like this is new, but it kind of feels new, especially because it's in the front and they always put the new things in the front, but it's a women's tee. It's a heathered navy blue. It's very soft and it's just the right amount of thin. And then we have this weathered distressed graphic right here on the front with Walt and Mickey, the little partner statue. This is very nice. And I did check the tags. None of them are tagged, but I'm going to guess that it's $24.99. I turn the corner and there is Christmas merch out. What is happening? It's October. <laughs> well, I mean, I shouldn't really be that surprised, but these are so fun. Look, we have a Monsters Inc. one right here and it says, I wrapped it myself. Is this embroidered? Oh, it's okay. It's like puffy print to make it look like it's either icing or embroidery. That's very unique, very interesting. And then look, we have Mike and Sully and Oh, I love the way Mike looks. That is very adorable. How much is this? It's also like a nice, it's nice and thin, which it's, well, it's like medium thin. Let's see. This is $24.99. And then look at this one. We have a red one. It's like a faded red. It's like slightly heathered. Can you see? It has like a little variation in the color, but it says make it merry and bright. And it has the Disneyland logo on it. And look at how precious Mickey and Minnie look. So Mickey's wearing kind of like, it's a very like varsity inspired type of sweater right but that is so cute and look at Minnie she looks so pretty I really like the dress they have her in this is adorable Ooh, and is it a little puffy furry accent on her bow this is adorable okay how much is this okay I don't feel a tag oh wait it's up here $24.99 they have a 2023 calendar out and I love the artwork on the front. It's so fun. I love the Matterhorn and look, Mickey's saying, oh boy. Let's see what the actual art is though. 
Oh, it's photographs of the park. Okay. Ooh, I would want the Matterhorn. I always check like which one is my birthday month and honestly, I would want the Matterhorn for mine. But I'm kind of sad because I would love this to be artwork. How fun would that be if it was actually like illustrations and artwork? That would be really cool. Okay, this is $16.99. They have new iridescent print clothes for women. Look at this. So they're all this really pretty lavender color. There's two tops and, well, no, there's three tops and one bottom, but I'm totally drawn to this one right here. We have this really beautiful, look at this. It's like iridescent foil. It has this really pretty reflection and it looks so pretty on top of this lavender color. I love it. I wonder if there's anything on the back of this one. No, but I do like the combo of the lavender and the gray. I love it. And then what about this one? It says happiest place on earth. The only thing I wonder, okay, how would this wash and wear? Like definitely on cold, not in the dryer, but eventually would this start to crack or would it start to crack quickly? I'm not sure, but this one is a little bit sportier. It has some nice gray stripes. Let's see anything on the back. Nothing on the back of this one. I'll check prices in a second. And then they have this one. It's a little bit of, oh no, I thought it was a funnel neck. No, it's just a regular hoodie, but this one is all heather gray and that beautiful foil. Ooh, and then the castle specifically is in silver foil and we have Tinkerbell up there. That's so fun. And there's a kangaroo pocket and there's nothing on the back of these, but then the pants over here, look at these sweatpants. They have some slip pockets with a Disneyland D in that gorgeous foil. That is so pretty. And then let's see, it's all, they're also very soft and they're not too thick. Oh, and they have those sporty stripes. Oh, and they have a little cuffed bottom, so it's like a jogger. I'm going back and checking prices. So this one is $49.99, and then this one is $59.99. Let's check this one. Also $59.99, and then the pants are $49.99. They have a new display for the Munchlings, and this is so adorable. Look, ooh, it even is reminiscent of some drippy ice cream, which I love. And then uh, I also love the illustrations of Mickey and Minnie right there. Their faces are so cute. And also the shape of their arms. I love that. But look at this. They also have this display over here. And something I wanted to point out, look, they have subway tile right back there to make it look like a little kitchen. How fun. But I do not see the Baymax s'more one the large Baymax s'more. I think that's been the most popular and that's the one that I want. So sadly, no, he's not here. I know that these are supposed to be scented, but I honestly cannot smell them. Like, I also don't want to put my face intensely in it because I know a lot of people touch these. So maybe that's it, but yeah, I can't smell that. <laughs> Of course, I had to come check out if there was new Halloween merch. And look, this is new. It's Hocus Pocus related. So we have Binks right there looking into a cauldron. And then there's moons and stars cut out. And look, back here is where you would put the votive. Although it does warn you on the label to only use uh, like a battery operated one, which makes sense because there's no opening at the top. But let's see, this is $25. I love all the design details that went into this mug. Look at the speckly finish on the glaze. And then look at this. There is an iridescent finish to Ursula. Isn't that so cool? It's not quite duochrome. Like that right there is duochrome, but this is not. But this mug is amazing. Look, and this is a lovely mess on the front. And I love the shape. And then look at this. It's a muted lavender on the inside. I love it. Okay, this is $14.99. No skeleton dance sweatshirts in stock anymore, which makes me a little sad because I do want the crew neck. But honestly, it's not going to get cold until uh, like November. <laughs> so that's okay. But they do have these that are new. These are some twill. Yeah, they're like a brush twill. So they're actually a little bit soft and they are like joggers, but they're straight leg joggers, not like cuffed. And then over here, it has embroidery layered on top of the print. And then over here, we have another print that has these skeletons embroidered on top. That's kind of cool. Let's see how much. These are $55. For $25, there's this new Oogie Boogie mug and look at his squishy little face and then the stitches going down the side and you know, it's very reminiscent of his uh, icky kind of canvas body that's full of bugs, but it also says that it changes color. Let's see. Oh, it reveals like bugs in his mouth. That's totally gross and very Oogie Boogie. 
For $19.99, there are these Jack Skellington fingerless gloves that turn into mittens, and we have Jack's face embroidered on there, and it's very scratchy and scrawly, and I'm into these, actually. These would be good on really chilly park days when, you know, when your fingers get cold and you're out and about at Disneyland. There's a Nightmare Before Christmas countdown clock, and look at this. Oh, it actually has all of the months on there. Oh, and three spots, like three digits. So you could count down all year long to Halloween and to Christmas, or to, you know, whatever you want. Oh, and it says it lights up. Okay, let's see, how much does this cost? This is $69.99. I love the Disney designer dolls and Lord help me, I would totally collect them but I would have no room for how many dolls I would want. But this one is so beautiful. So the latest one is Cinderella and she is gorgeous. She kind of has like a Gene Kelly look, right? Is that what they were going for? I'm sorry, it's so hard to see by the way. Oh, let's see. There, we can see her a little bit better. But one of the things I love to do is watch doll unboxing videos. Like I watch all of these designer dolls being unboxed on YouTube. It's so relaxing, but I haven't watched the one for Cinderella yet. So I'll definitely do that when I go home. They have Andor merch here and I love the color palette. That teal is gorgeous. And then mixed with the red, it's kind of like a muted red. That's a brilliant color combo. And have you guys seen Andor yet? I've watched the first two episodes and I'm obsessed. I think it's so good, but I also just like Star Wars. So, you know, it could be that also, but we have a hoodie right here. Look at this. I love that little, isn't it functional? Oh my gosh. They put the kangaroo pocket up here instead of there. That's incredible. And then this shirt right here, I like the contrasting stitching. And let's see, how much are these things? This is $36.99 and then this is $59.99. For $52.99, there's a sweatshirt here and it says Pizza Smuggler and I love that graphic. It has the Millennium Falcon but it's made out of pizza. There's also another shirt where it's made out of cake and it says Cheat Day I think but yes, this one says Pizza Smuggler. This is very plush and like very soft fabric but I will tell you that this is the kind of fabric that would pill so so quickly but that's kind of nice. It gives it a worn in feel. Here's all the Heroes and Villains merch that came out a while back and I love all of it. But look at this, there's a new hat and I'm assuming this is gonna be by Heroes and Villains too. But it has a little patch right there with some arabesque and then it has a mesh back. Oh yes, it is Heroes and Villains because look, it has that little patch right there. Oh and it says Star Wars on the back. Do you see that? It's kind of hard to see. But okay, this is $30. Oh, and also has khaki underneath the brim. Very nice. And then for $50, they have this Heroes and Villains bag. So look, it's like a crossbody. Although you can take those straps off and wear it as a belt bag. But look, it has two compartments. So one is kind of like a wallet right there. And then this top one, which has some debossed details on it, which by the way, this is like buttery soft. It has... I think that's Obi-Wan's lightsaber, right? Don't kill me if it's Luke. Okay, intense Star Wars fans, please don't kill me if that's Luke's lightsaber. But then we have some Arabash debossed right there and a patch. And then this is actually a clear pocket. So you could put like your ID or, you know, whatever else you need. Oh man, this is really hard to hold with one hand. But yes, buttery soft. And I love all the Heroes and Villains merch because I think it's so well designed. Like all their stuff looks so good. They have two sets of pajamas for, I mean, for adults. I'm actually very surprised because they kind of have a very baby-like quality to them. Like, look at the pants on these. That is such a baby-like print, right? But I like baby things, so that's totally okay with me. Look at Mando's helmet. That is so fun. And, ooh, I love the foil on this. Oh, it's like a gunmetal. Do you see that? So into that gunmetal foil, and it says, strong with the force. Let's see, how much are these? This one is $55, and then this one over here, it also says strong with the force, and then these actually have gray pants instead, and this one doesn't have foil. Oh, no, it does, right here. It's like a very nice silver foil. Ooh, okay, I'm into these. I'm headed over to Star Wars Trading Post now because I'm really trying to find these Ahsoka Tano ears that came out, and when I saw pictures, I was like, these look interesting, these look bizarre, and so I really wanna see them in real life because you know that I need to try them on and see how weird are they. <laughs> I see them, I see them right there, look. Okay, these are the new Ahsoka Tano ears and I'm seeing them in real life for the first time and they, okay, they don't look as weird in real life. They have a nice satiny finish. Oh yes, they are very satiny. And then they have plain black ears that are like faux suede. Okay, you know we have to try these on. They look so interesting. 
I found a place outside so I could try these on uh, in somewhat privacy. I'm sure there's gonna be people walking in the background anyway, but let's give these guys a go. <laughs> oh man, let's see. Well, here they are in all of their glory. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm trying to see the viewfinder. I'm kind of blinded by like this overcast bright sky, but here they are. How do we feel about them? I don't know. <laughs> but I will say, like, Disney is a place where you can nerd out and do whatever you want, and I think it's like a judgment-free zone. Like, I'm not judging anyone, and I hope nobody's judging me, but these, I don't know if they're for me. I think they might be a little bit too much. And if you're wondering, I checked the price because I was like, wait, are they gonna be more expensive than regular ears? They're actually at the same price, so they're $29.99, and, you know, here they are. <laughs> You know something kind of sad? I actually really wanted to make these work. Like, I was so intrigued when I saw them online and I'm a little bit sad now that I think I don't think they work on me because I was totally gonna buy these. I'm not even kidding. I was gonna buy these and I am just sad now. There's actually a lot of new women's apparel. This is so fun. I love Star Wars stuff, so this is exciting. But okay, first we have a quarter zip, very chunky knit sweater with a cowl neck. And then I'm assuming this says Star Wars. Yes, it has the Star Wars logo right there on it. And then in gold thread, it says, may the force be with you. And we have all of our little friends right there. Very, very fun. Let's see, how much is this? This is $49.99. For $37, there's this dusty mauve top for women and it has cuff sleeves. It's also made out of the silkiest jersey and it has the same gold thread embroidery that says may the force be with you. It's also on the back right here at the neck. Isn't that fun? And then I feel like there's probably something at the bottom, like probably a Star Wars, yeah. See, there's a little Star Wars label right there at the hip. I had to unfold this shirt to see what was going on with it and I thought it was going to be a short sleeve but look it's actually a long sleeve and it's that same insanely soft silky jersey knit and then it has all of this embroidery on it in black which I love and it has a wide neck right there and then at the bottom it has a uh, like somewhat of like a dolphin hem see that so it's curved and then it also has the Star Wars logo right there let's see how much is this this is $39.99 Wait, this is so silly of me. I should have just shown it on the mannequin because look, now you can see all the detail, but I didn't realize this has a split hem and it's uneven, so it's longer in the back. Ooh, and I didn't notice this either. It actually has a dolphin hem at the sleeve. That is very cute. Do you like this one strip of shade that I'm walking in? Yes, I love it. I mean, thank you, Monorail. You are blessing me with your shade, but okay, I'm gonna go to Disneyland. We are gonna look for more merch there, and I think maybe we'll find more Christmas stuff, but let's see. As I'm walking up to Disneyland, I see these beautiful decorations. Look, Donald, you're the best Donald. But it makes me sad because how dare Christmas like emerge at this time when it's like the sacred holiday month of Halloween, right? I, I mean, it's kind of like when Halloween merch comes out in July, but July doesn't have a lot to offer, so I don't hate on that. But I do love Christmas. I'm just a little bit sad because come on, Halloween. I came inside of Disney Showcase and look what I just found. It is, in fact, holiday merch. What is going on? This is blasphemy almost, but also just judging by the sizes, look, they're all the larger sizes. This is selling out while well, people are buying it. I, that is wild. That is absolutely wild, but let's take a closer look at it. So this is a spirit jersey and it's actually a sweater, which I think is so cool. It's not like a, you know, it's not like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt material. It's an actual knit sweater, which is so nice. And we have Mickey right there on the front with some very festive plaid. And then the cuffs in the bottom and the neckline all have black trim. And then on the back, it says Disneyland and it's one of the ones where it's like very, very large all the way across the back. Isn't that so nice? So yes, it's $100 and unfortunately this will not be going home with me, mainly just because spear jerseys, well, I cannot make them work. They just are the most unflattering thing on me ever, but I think they're so fun and so cute. Speaking of cold weather clothes, look at what we have here. We have two pieces and they both look so insanely cozy. Oh my goodness. This would be so comfy to wear when it does eventually you know get cold in a couple months 
But look, we have a Disneyland D pole right there, like a zipper pole. And then we have embroidery. Oh no, it's a patch. No, it is embroidered. It's an embroidered patch. And then over here, we have the pants. And oh my goodness, could you imagine wearing the set? How comfortable would you be? I love that. And these also have the zipper poles, which I think are the coolest detail. Although, okay, if it were me, I would say one should be a castle and one should be the D. I think that's so cool, but let's check the prices. So the half zip is 70 and then the pants are 55. I came inside of the Emporium and they restocked the sweatshirt, the Halloween sweatshirt. I love this thing. And look, my favorite part is that this Disneyland D is embroidered on there. Well, okay, I also love everyone else, especially Donald. Look at how scared he is. We love him in his candy corn outfit with his little duck butt. That is absolutely precious. But I'm really sad because I did get an extra small and it was like, no. Like, I didn't know, I don't know how I thought that was gonna fit me, but it was the only size available a few months ago and now well they're selling out fast because they only have extra small small and XL and unfortunately none of those sizes are really gonna work for me so that's you know that's very sad but I just don't think it was meant to be I came to Eudora's chic boutique and look at what I found this is quite the treasure their lounge fly ears so look on the side it says Disney lounge fly on a plaque and it's faux leather for the headband and then look at how adorable the actual beignets are and they have powdered sugar it's actually textured and then the glittery bow is so lovely. It's not showing up on camera quite as glittery as it is in real life, but just know it's very glittery. And then look on the back. It says beignet all day. How cute is this? And then I did smell them. They do smell. So it's not like the salted uh, pretzel one that smelled like mm, pencil eraser. These actually do have like a powdered sugar smell, kind of like a sugar cookie, but they're so, so cute. And they're $40. I wanted to show you the sugar up close because they're little bits of glitter but they aren't incredibly like glittery they're a little bit matte or satiny you know but it gives it a nice texture and it's on the front and it's on the back and it really does look like powdered sugar how cute is that I ended up Galaxy's Edge. Well, okay, I came for food. I mean, all day I haven't really eaten anything, so I was like, it's definitely time to eat something, and I'm not even showing you because I already finished it, and yeah, I was that hungry. So I'm sorry, but next time. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so I think that's gonna do it for today. I know I'm like ending it in the most random way, but yes, that's gonna do it for today. I cannot believe that we found Christmas merch, and we found those beignet ears. Was not a nice way to like end the little like, you know, shop with me. It was kind of nice, but I also got stuff but I don't want to show it quite yet because I think I'm going to do a haul video. I think that would be kind of fun to do, especially because between the 30% off that they've had for Magic Key and also my birthday, I have some stuff to show. So yes, I will show it in another video, but you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys saw things that you liked. I hope it was fun and either way, yes, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.